Hey guys, I want to say a huge thank you to all the support I've been getting recently. I love reading all your comments and interacting with you. A lot of people have been asking for help with their roaming, so here's 7 important tips that you need to master. If this helps you out, I'll make a part 2 as there's many more tips to learn, and these are just some of the most important ones. Also, I can't believe that we're 3 quarters of the way to 1000 subs. Make sure you like and share and subscribe if you're new. The general rule for roaming is that you should hard shove mid wave and then roam. This will force the enemy mid to roam and lose that wave or stay and not be able to help their team. If done correctly, you can make it back while missing little to no minions because the next wave should be pushing into you. This means you won't end up really behind an XP. If your roam is taking too long or the enemy back off to safety, you can just walk back to lane and you won't have lost anything at all because you shoved that wave. If a gank isn't going to work out, you can take the enemy jungle camps or scuttle crab before you make your way back to mid. To know how much time you have to do this, check the in-game clock. Mid lane's minion waves will meet each other every 30 seconds. For example, at 6 minutes exactly, the waves will meet, and at 11 minutes 30 seconds, the waves will meet too. You can take camps, gain vision control, or look for the enemy jungler without losing any CS as long as you aim to get back as they meet each other. So say you want to gank bot because the enemy is low, but you don't want to be seen as you're coming down through the river. You could go for your own jungle and come around to them, but you won't end up behind them and they could probably escape. Imagining that the enemy has wards here, here, here and here, you're going to need to use your E to avoid them. So wherever you're roaming around the map, just keep in mind where wards are often placed and then work out a different route over walls to roam without being seen. You shouldn't use your E on the wall next to the lane just to get there faster. That section of wall will be on cooldown and you'll have to walk into lane and they'll start backing off before you can get near them. Instead, use it as you're engaging so that you end up behind them before they notice you and this will help secure the kill. Just make sure to use sweepers or a control ward in this bush to make sure they can't see you. Getting a kill from a roam is good, but you should always look towards objectives after a successful roam. For example, if you killed their bot lane and or their jungler, spam ping dragon and take it for free. If it isn't up, take enemy jungle camps or shove waves and look to get plates or destroy a turret whilst nobody is there to defend it. If you've just backed, look to roam without going mid before. This can allow you to roam with a lower risk of being spotted and it's likely the enemy's mid lane won't expect you to be roaming, so won't ping missing before it's too late. And as you can imagine, their bot lane will probably be flaming their mid right now, which is always good. If you're alone in a side lane after a room, the wave is in a bad spot and you're healthy enough to stay, ask for a temporary swap while you shove a wave or two. This helps a lot for yours and your teammates golden XP as you can both pick up waves that otherwise would have just crashed on the tower. You can then just swap back or you can roam down and gank the same teammate but just mid this time before they walk back to their lane. <laughs> 